Hi guys, Mrs Gittins here. I'm just going to follow on from some of the stuff that Mrs Frost has done. Um, as she said, you do not need to have a netball. If you've got any kind of ball at home you can use. Probably not a rugby ball, but you could. Um, but I just happen to have a netball at home. I'm going to move quite far away so you can see everything I'm doing. I'm just going to start off with some ball familiarisation, which will literally just be warming up your hands, getting that ball moving really quickly between your fingers. Okay, so you start off just moving that ball nice and quickly between your hands. Okay, fast as you can, take it above your head so you're now moving above your hands and take it all the way down to your ankles. In front of your ankles, put your feet together, take the ball round your ankles. Okay, and then in between your ankles, round here. Okay, in and out, in and out. And if you want to, for a bit of fun, you can switch hands. Okay, get the quick moving your hands in between. Bring it back round your waist. Okay. Up in front of your chest, do both directions, get that left and right part of your brain working. Okay, and back in front of your hands, lower your head. And then we can start to do things like rainbows. So we're now moving the ball over our head and just catching it on both sides. So you can just soft hands, soft fingers, loosely. And as you get more confident, you can start to move the ball more to the left and right. Okay, sun's in my eyes. Okay, just get that ball moving right over. Then you should be nice and warmed up. Right, okay, another thing we really need in netball is fast feet. We've got to have agility to be able to get to the ball quickly, be balanced to make a pass. Don't have any cones, so I'm using some plastic bowls, literally turned upside down. We're going to start off with two next to each other, just watch what we're looking at here. So, in this situation, I'm starting behind the two cones. The idea is that this is a player and trying to move around quickly. Okay, I've got to keep my face facing towards you all the time because that's where the ball is. So I'm going to move my feet, I'm going to go in front of the player as if I was making a defensive and then I'm going to move here and I'm going to keep switching and moving my hips each time as if I'm moving around the player. So if the ball was coming here, I'm going to make an interception here, either tap the ball away or grab it okay, as I'm moving my feet quickly, getting my hips moving around the player. Okay, nice and simple, but at no point am I turning my back on the ball as it were. Okay, we're now going to move the two hands apart and we're going to do a figure of eight. Again, you represent the ball. So if I'm going around like this, okay, I'm losing track of where the ball is. No good. I need to be shoulder width apart, about a metre apart. Looking forward, feet first. Okay, nice fast feet, pumping our arms as we move. We're going to move our hips around the cone, in and out. Okay, each time driving as we go forwards, moving our feet really quickly, okay, to get the ball. Okay, so we are each time small little steps, okay? It's not big stretches, it's big small steps, okay? Excellent. Okay, we're going to move on to another one now. Okay, two more drills for you. This time we're using four different bowls as cones. Okay, this is all about fast feet again, remember? Keeping your head up, looking forward towards um, where the ball would be. If at any point you have somebody else with you with a ball, they can lob that ball into you at any point which just makes it more impactful in terms of knowing where the ball is. So starting at the beginning, you're going to start in the middle of your square. My square is quite small because of my space, but you can obviously make yours a lot bigger. Fast feet, okay, you're going to be moving randomly to any of these cones. Okay, out, touch the cone, back to the middle, out, touch the cone, back to the middle, back here again, keeping your head up the whole time, back to the cone, back to the middle. Try and mix it up so you're constantly moving your feet quickly. Okay, and your head's up and you know where the ball is. As I say, a ball could come in at any point. Okay, now we're going to put more of a pattern in. Starting in one of the corners, you're going to sprint the diagonal, switch your hips, and then back to this line. So, sprint the diagonal, switch the hips, keep your head, sprint the diagonal, keeping your head facing forward. Okay, sprint the diagonal. Okay, moving. As I said, we've got a lot of space, but try and keep the head looking in this direction the whole time. Okay, any point. Check a ball in, make them work. Okay, I'm gonna try again because trains keep going past, so I apologize if a train goes past again. You'll notice I've got a stick. This is the third agility um, drill I wanna do with you. And this is working on dexterity, the left and part, right part of your brain working, and also this idea of moving away from an attacker when they've caught the ball quickly, because we all know the first line of defense, you've gotta be three feet away from the ball, we've gotta do it quickly. So, I'm gonna put this bit down. This is not to start off with about speed, okay? So, you're on your toes, knees um, bent, feet shoulder width apart. You're going over the stick, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left. See how?
how slowly I'm doing that because I'm consciously thinking, which am I using? And you need to say it out loud as you're doing it to check yourself. Okay, left, right. Right, left, left, right. Left, right, right, left. As you get better at this, you'll be able to speed up, but the idea is that you're not just going like this, okay? All right? It is about really thinking and making sure that you're really consciously thinking about which part of your body are you using, the right or the left. Okay, we're going to do it side on now. Make the point so you're not just doing this. Making sure your feet are shoulder width apart, not with your feet narrow together, okay? Now we're imagining that there is a defend an attacker catching the ball, and we've got to get back really quickly three feet. So we go over right, left. We might then have to leap back, left, right, three feet from the, the uh, line with our hands up, okay? This time we might go over left, right. We leap back, right, left. Make sure you're a meter, three feet away, hands up, okay? Right, left, left, right. Oops. Try not to hit the stick. Okay, you might go left, right, leap back. Okay, hands up. This time, though, we're going to add in a jump. Because after we've marked that ball, we've got our knee bent, ready to pounce when they release the ball. We're going to try and make that interception. So, right, left, left, right, hands up straight away, jump. Okay, left, right, right, left, hands out, straight up, okay? Left, right, left, right, up, okay? Left, right, right, left, hands out, straight away, leap, okay? I've done that three times now and the train has gone past, so I'm pretty puffed out. Give it a go, work hard, enjoy. Okay, Mrs. Frost did a lot of work against the wall. Okay, she did chest passes against the wall, she did one-handed passes against the wall. So she's really improving your dexterity and also your muscular endurance in your arms. So can't recommend that enough to do as many chest passes as you can. And also to introduce some shoulder passes, which, which we know should be side on, ball should be up here behind our head to release it against the wall like this. Okay, but one of my big bugbears with netball is that we don't jump, we don't time our jump very well. We tend to wait for the ball to come to us. So one drill I'd like you to have a go at is we're going to put the ball really high against the wall and then you've got to time your jump to be able to get up there and meet the ball whilst it's in the air, not wait to land and then catch it. So we're going to give this a go. I haven't got a lot of space and please watch out for windows and as you'll notice I've got a light there that I need to be careful of. Okay. So the ball needs to go high, so you're jumping, reaching up, snatching it, bend your knees on landing. Hands up, reach up, really snatch the ball in. Okay. We're not waiting for that ball to come to us, we are getting up, jump, catch that ball at its highest point, reach and land. Make sure you're bending your knees as you land. Okay, progression from that is a jump and turn. So this time we're facing the wall, but as the ball comes down, we're gonna turn in the air so that we're facing this direction. Ball goes up, now facing this way, ready to make the next pass. Ball goes up, meet the ball, turn face this way. Practice turning both ways, so you get that ambidextry element to it. Facing both ways. Okay, if you wanna make things particularly challenging, you might start this way, you're going to throw the ball over your head, you're going to try to turn and catch that ball, and if you really want to work hard, jump, whoops, and turn in the air, that wasn't a very good one, and turn in the air, and turn in the air, okay. Okay, this next drill you can do if you've got somebody else with you, so I've got my son Harry here, he's going to be throwing the ball against the wall, and I'm going to start beside him, and I've got to try and intercept him, so you're just going to throw the ball against the wall, Harry, as you were. Okay, so I'm standing side on, and all I'm going to do is make an interception, okay? Okay, so my job is to get in between him and the ball, okay? I'm just going to make that interception, put it back against the ball, and get to this side. Here we go. Okay, so I have to time the run to get in between the ball. Now, to make it more difficult, I then have to start behind him, and I've now got to time it so that I can get in between, without contact. Okay, so from behind, I've got to get in. Make that interception, and then I've got to go back behind him. Okay, make the interception, go back behind him. Try not to run with the ball. Okay. Okay, make that interception. Now, once you've done that quite a few times, you can then do a little game. So he starts behind me, and we just clear out of the way. As long as you always clear the same way, then we shouldn't get in each other's way. Ready, Harry? Yeah. Okay, catch. Okay, we clear the same way. Okay, get to the ball. To make it easy, you put the ball higher. To make it harder, whoops, you put the ball lower. Okay, the lower the ball goes, obviously, the less time there is for them to move their feet around the ball. Brilliant. Don't touch that. Okay, and the final thing I'm going to do today is some stuff on shooting. 
Okay, now you'll notice I don't have a hoop of any kind, but that doesn't mean to say that you can't work on some skills that will help you with your shooting in netball and also in basketball. So there are some key things that you know already. We've taught you about beef, balance, eyes, elbow, follow through. So we're going to break it down and we're going to look first of all at the follow through. So I'm going to, you notice I've got a mat on the floor. You could do this in your house as long as you don't uh, smash into the ceiling or anything. Um, again with the ball, you're going to make sure that your elbow is nice and in line and your hand is on the ball. If you can, you're going to make sure there's not very much gap between the ball and your hand. Get it as flat as you can. So I'm going to talk you through this. Two, making sure your feet are shoulder width apart, we're looking at balance, bending our knees again as we said before, elbow is in line with the wall, non-dominant hand is at the side of the wall. So we're going to bend and we're going to flick the ball so it goes against the wall. Okay, bend your knees, stand up, you shouldn't need to go up on your tiptoes at this point, you should be sitting down and you should have your elbow nice and high. Okay, flick, wave goodbye to the ball. Flick, wave goodbye to the ball. Okay, as a netballer, often as you catch the ball, somebody tries to put their hand over the ball. So it's important if you want to take the ball against the ball, take it round as if there's a defender there into that position and bend. Okay, so as if you just caught it, defender's got their hand there, take the ball round rather than bringing it up this way because you're in contact with the ball against their hand. So you bring it round your head, line your elbow up, bend and flip. Again, making sure that hand is at the side, making sure your knees are bent and your feet are free. If you have got a ring, then obviously use it. Um, and see if you can challenge yourself doing a certain number in, in certain positions. Put little markers out around and try and hit some particular spots. Okay, you might catch the ball here, you might make a little mark on the wall. Try and see if you can hit that and keep moving into different positions. So the idea is balance, eyes on the ring or the cross that you've got on the wall, elbow in line, bend your knees, follow through. Okay, a little bit on shooting. If you can make some videos of yourself doing some shooting or any of this stuff and you want to send them back to us, that would be great.